Hey, I'm Bruce. I want to show you three easy ways to mark your work. One of them is using a simple rubber stamp, uh, very easily accessible, cheap, and an ink pad to mark your work. Another one is a simple wood burning kit, and the final would be an actual branding iron. Over the years, I've used a few different methods to mark my work. Once my finished piece is done, I like putting a mark on the bottom and a lot of times a date. A lot of makers will do this, calling it a maker's mark so that when that piece is found years and years and possibly even generations from now, it's kind of like an artist marks their piece of art, you can mark your thing that you built. Number one, a rubber stamp. These are super cheap and really easy to get. You can get any kind of custom style or logo that you want on them. I think I paid about $11.50 for mine plus shipping. I actually found rubberstamps.net from David Picciuto over at Make Something. A couple years ago, he put up a video about him getting one of those to help stamp things at craft fairs and stuff, and I picked one up. Number two, a simple wood burning kit. I think I picked mine up from Michael's Craft Store for about eight dollars or so it was a little bit more expensive than that but you can almost always find a 40 percent off coupon of one item i usually just trace what i want in pencil first and then i come back with the wood burning kit and trace on top of the pencil i have found that oak is pretty difficult and that's what you see me doing the wood burning on here it has a real open grain and each time the wood burner kind of settles into the soft grain it burns a little bit more so just go slow take your time you'll get a great result Number three, an actual branding iron. This is a professionally made one from Cranford Design Works. I'll have a link to their order form below, but this one is super high quality. It will be used over and over and over and over again, and it will probably last me a lifetime so long as I don't change my logo or as long as I take care of it. If you're new here, Welcome. Get subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. I recently made a video about how to use a branding iron, so if you haven't already seen that, click the link in the description or I'll leave a card up here to uh, that video. Go check it out and I answer a lot of the common questions that I've heard over the years surrounding branding irons. I think it might even surprise you some of the materials that you can actually use a branding iron on. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. It tells YouTube that you liked it and that it should show it to other people. Helps my channel grow. Also, if you want more details about this project, check out the website article that I will have. All of the links that I mentioned in the video will be down in the description below. And I really appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.